Hello YouTube, this is Tech Teacher, and as you can see by the title of this video, you probably already know what's under this cloth. It is my new uh, RCA Cambio tablet, 2-in-1, and this is the, uh, this is the W101V2, and it's very nice, uh, Got the speaker there, and all the buttons on the left hand side here. If we open this up, you can see a 10.1 inch uh, display here, and if you take it off even further, the tablet is pretty lightweight, it's not too heavy. Um, of course you gotta remember that this is running a full version of Windows Home or Windows 10 Home Edition so it's got to have all the required hardware in there to run that so it's not just a regular uh, Android tablet it is a actual PC uh, with a dis detachable keyboard that's how I would describe it as a uh, PC with a detachable keyboard instead of a tablet with a with a keyboard you know combo Anyway, let's uh, let's talk specs. This thing has 10.1 um, inch display. Its resolution is 1280 by 800. It has uh, its processor is an Intel Atom Z3735F. It's got a quad core bay trail, 1.33. To 1.83 gigahertz, uh, two megabytes of cache, and its RAM has two gigabytes of RAM, which you would think isn't that much for a PC, but it, you gotta remember, it's not made to run like heavy games or anything. It's more of like a, a professional thing. You can open like Google Docs and everything on it. Uh, it's graphics. It's got an Intel HD integrated graphics. Nothing too special there. With its input, it's got its uh, multi-touch trackpad with integrated buttons, non-backlit keyboard with numeric pad and touchscreen. It's also got on the side here. It's got a USB port, so you can plug in uh, cell phones, uh, other stuff like that. You can put uh, pictures on here from your cell phone. It's got that's the power button right there. It's not too uh, too big. The camera would focus here. Doesn't seem like it's going to. Uh, that is the headphone jack with a uh, that's a micro USB, so you can use a phone charger on this, and not just the regular uh, uh, regular uh, stock charger it comes with. That is a charging port for the. Well, let me see if it can get the camera to focus here. No, it doesn't seem like it wants to, but that's a regular stock uh, charging point port right there. Uh, this is micro HDMI port, and above that is a micro USB port, or no, a micro SD port for micro SD cards, and that right there is the microphone. And that's that's basically all the inputs on the sidebar there. Um, I don't like how it's got the uh, volume rockers on the back, but I guess if you're holding it like this, it's kind of right there where your hands would be, so I suppose that's probably what they were thinking in the desi design aspect there. Uh, uh, it's got its speakers is a combo mic and headphone audio jack with mono speakers. Speakers on this thing are not the best. I gotta say they are on the back which kind of annoys me they could have put in the speakers uh, anywhere on here like Nick uh, down here even on the sides would have been good like see this side is completely open there's nothing here but I guess the uh, space of the design would have it to where it would not be able to fit on the side there but uh, yeah the speakers are not the best but they do get kind of loud but you're, they're not gonna be targeted towards you 
I would recommend using headphones with this almost 24% of the time. No, 100% of the time. 24-7. Use headphones on this all the time. Um, it's got a front and a rear camera. See, there's a rear cramp camera. We open it up here. You can see the front camera right there. Uh, I think they both record at four megapixels. Not the best. That's less, or that's just about the same as what you would find in a flip phone. But you know, it's still not too bad for taking pictures on the go. Uh, it does not have 3G data. It does not have any type of data, 3G or 4G. It has Bluetooth. Um, Oh, I forgot to mention this USB port is a USB 2.0 uh, slot. Um, you got a very good battery life in here. Uh, six hours on use, or no, six hours uh, without being used. That's idle, I think. Depending on, depending on what you are doing, this thing can last anywhere from uh, uh, an hour to three hours, somewhere in there, you know. But, um, you know, if you're just letting it sit and it's on, it should last, last almost six hours, I would say. It's pretty good on battery life. It's better than my laptop, actually. <coughs> Excuse me. Its weight, it weighs about two pounds. It's not too heavy. That's including the keyboard. So if you took the keyboard off and just wanted to use it as a tablet, it would weigh way less. Uh, and that's basically it. Uh, it prices at about uh, 130 at Walmart and uh, Sears, places like that. Um, yeah, so that's about it on the specs and hardware. Let's go ahead and turn it on. As I said, it runs a version of Windows 10 Home. It runs Windows 10 Home Edition. Um, trying to not get, not get too much glare here while it turns on. See, there's the RCA logo, and it'll have a little loading icon over here. Yeah, it loads up here for about a minute, maybe a minute and a half sometimes. Well, I guess not this time. Um, if we go ahead and unlock this, come on. Maybe it's not gonna work because I got the keyboard on. There you go. So you got my tech teacher there. Go and hit. Go ahead and put in the password. Uh. There we go. Oh. Incorrect. Hold on. Probably just cut this out of the video. As you can see here, it's running a uh, stock Windows 10 Home. And a cool feature about this, if you actually take off the keyboard, it goes into tablet mode. Or first, the first time you do it, it'll ask you if you want to switch to tablet mode. You just hit uh, uh, right here, this drop down menu. Why is it doing that? I did not click on Cortana. As you can see, this is running stock version of Windows. And, uh, Cool thing about this is if you detach it from the actual keyboard itself, it'll it'll give you a prompt asking if you want to switch to tablet mode. I just hit this and go to uh, remember my response and don't ask again. So it'll always switch between them uh, once you hit yes. See now it's in tablet mode. This is the first time I've actually gotten on my tech teacher account, so there's not anything on here, but. If you go over here to uh, this little button down here in the right hand corner and hit that it's got all your apps see it's just the stock apps that come on there 
but I've only gotten on this account to change the picture uh, this is not the highest brightness by the way uh, if you go over here it gets pretty bright it's so bright that the camera can't really see it so I'm gonna turn the brightness back down maybe not to zero let's turn it to 50 there that should be good and uh, yeah that's about it uh, for using this for a tablet I, I would not recommend you can go to the store and get a few apps but a lot of the apps that would you, you would be trying to get on your mobile phone such as uh, thing, things for mobile devices like uh, Clash of Clans and uh, other games like that for your mobile device they're not on here there are some games for a Windows device but a lot of them are not as good as the games that you want you know they're not the games you want you got some apps like Facebook and Netflix uh, but yeah there's it's not as good as an app store as what you should expect they're not giving you all of what you want here so uh, it'd be better with the keyboard for browsing and stuff but for browsing it does a pretty okay job with the touch screen um, you go here you got a uh, you got some good stock apps I'm not gonna go through this because it's not a Windows 10 review it's a Cambio tablet review overall this thing runs pretty good for what you're depending on what you're trying to use it for uh, what I like to do is this keyboard over here if you set it on the keyboard like this it's gonna go back into desktop mode to a regular PC but see if you take it off you can make this into a stand by turning this tablet or this keyboard around and kind of adjusting this right here and turn this up and stuff and then you can set this tablet on the stand and it'll stand it up like that on the box it actually showed it like this so it is um, it's not like it's not recommended or nothing it also showed this on the box this setup and I'm guessing this would be more for if you're do, uh, going over like PowerPoints and stuff but I like the other way better it just feels better doesn't feel like it's gonna fall apart too much uh, this has all four sides rotation so if you wanted you could rotate it all four ways you have it like this if you wanted come on there you go you have it like that if you want it's got rotation for all four ways that you want to rotate it if you want to rotate it that way let's take a look at the camera quality here uh, find the camera app here uh, probably passed it I did uh, camera right there all right um, I'm just gonna hit no on this I'm gonna delete this account afterwards anyway but once the camera loads up here um, doesn't seem as, as if the camera wants to load up it is a little bit buggy some of the things are not always working properly camera seems to be one of those things that just kind of doesn't work all the time just kind of got to fiddle with it sometimes on the desktop in the desktop view if you want to use the uh, the touch screen it'll be inverted so you'll be touching over here and it'll actually be uh, it's touch sensitive will be over here which doesn't make any sense but those are some of the some of the minor glitches that you just gonna have to get used to you know so yeah um, it's not that bad really uh, it's got it comes with such programs like um, uh, let's, let me think here it had Google Chrome on it and Skype so it does good for Skype it's got some good video chatting it's all together it's really not bad my recommendation now is if you were gonna get this would be depending on what you would use it for if you would use it for a tablet without the keyboard or you would use it as a miniature laptop for on the go uh, my recommendation changes see if you're gonna use it as a miniature laptop I, re I would recommend keeping Windows on it
keeping it just the way it was because it works fine as a miniature laptop. It has all the things that you would expect it to have, just the right amount of RAM. Uh, so that's that. If you were going to use it more as a tablet, I would recommend maybe using an emulator of some sorts or just full fully installing Android onto this. Uh, I haven't done that yet because I've already got a lot of stuff on it and I don't want to get rid of all that stuff when I switch to Android. But that's my recommendations if you're going to be using this as a tablet because really it has just the bare minimum to run Windows it feels like but it has um, an excessive amount to run Android which is uh, which is great there. Sorry about that guys, I just turned the light off, it kind of looks better now, but uh, yeah, all together it's a, it's a good tablet, not a lot of bad things about it, it comes with this, uh, this little protection case pouch thing, and it comes with, A stock uh, AC adapter charger. It's just an AC uh, adapter there, a micro one I think, and that that's basically what it comes with. Uh, let's go. Let's go over something. Let's go over the keyboard performance, because I think that's not as uh, not as talked about a lot on these reviews of these things. Uh, on the keyboard, you have a exit button right here, just as normal. All these buttons, the keyboard itself is actually pretty stock and standard. Uh, these these buttons, the F buttons up here, the function buttons, have different functions for them. To actually use the F1 and F1 through F12 buttons, you have to hit uh, this FN button down here, a function, and then hit the button for it to actually register as that. But they got some other functions that are uh, um, special to the tablet. It's got a... Uh, uh, sleep button so if you were using the tablet on the keyboard uh, and you wanted to close it to go to sleep you could hit that because it doesn't actually shut the screen off whenever you close it uh, brightness down and brightness up buttons here um, volume off that mutes it volume down volume up uh, that opens Cortana that little search bar the search button right there I think that's a share button I don't know I haven't worked on that this is for uh, the screen. You can select a different screen using that. That opens the settings. That's a setting, like a little uh, cog there. It's got a media player uh, back and forward. It's got a skip forward button. Does not have a skip backward button. I don't know what happened to that. That's kind of weird there. But yeah, that's basically the entire tablet in a nutshell. In a nutshell, right there. Uh, it's a great tablet. Could be better, but you can't really beat it for about $120, $130. You know, somewhere around there, you could get an okay tablet. Uh, and, it, and the thing's not that not that small, too. It's pretty big, really. If you compare this to something like... Uh, uh, let me grab my laptop here. If you compare this to about the size of my laptop, my laptop is pretty big. It's not, not too big. I can't even remember the screen size. I think it's like 16, 17 inches. Uh, probably smaller than that. But see, so you, you set this on top of there, and it's it's pretty big comparatively. Comparatively, it's pretty big. See, but you know that's the that's the Cambio tablet. It's it's pretty good. Not too much to complain about. And that's basically it. Oh, and it has this little button right here. I forgot to mention this. It is a reset button. It basically just restarts it. It's got a power button and a reset button, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, that's basically the, the whole tablet right there. Uh, Cambio tablet. Runs Windows 10 Home Edition. Uh, that's it. If you like the video, like the video because it lets me know that you like the video. And if you want to see more videos like this, uh, subscribe and comment and tell me 
um, what you want to see next some more cool tech videos like this um, this is uh, been tech teacher with another true review signing off